the Artesia Family Detention Center is no place for children or trauma victims. Um, children here that I've seen have been misdiagnosed countless times medically, even when the mother has had the child um, formally diagnosed back in home country. For example, there was a, um, a little boy who has a, um, a congenitive heart condition and he has been prescribed asthma medication. Um, and he's been countless times to the, what they call the, the medico, but um, we're not sure whether it's nurses or doctors and these children are not being seen and treated as they should be and as they would be um, if they were not detained here. And also the cognitive development of so many of these children is completely barred. Um, and it doesn't help that most of these children are trauma victims themselves but that there is no school for these children to try and work through these difficulties and the medical personnel is certainly not providing that either. Um, there was a three-year-old boy in, um, that I met who could not say any words in Spanish or English. He didn't know, he couldn't say no, he couldn't say yes, he couldn't say see, sí. and even questions as simple as what noise does a dog make, he, he didn't know. Um, and we, he, it's just, it's amazing here to see how these children are, have already been at risk their entire lives for, from the things that they faced back in home country and how we refuse to treat them uh, medically for things that are completely avoidable and for cognitive development that these children are clearly showing, um, showing signs of suffering from um, debilitating trauma or if they were born that way, but we have so many measures here in the United States that um, could help these children and we're refusing to do it. And um, 